Hello everyone, my name is Golden Jay and welcome back to another episode on the Crux SMP server. Today's episode, we are going to be doing another tour of the world because again, I haven't been recording that much. I have been playing that much, so I've been doing a lot of work on the base and everything like that. You can see in the background, you see a bunch of new things that you've never seen before. I'm going to explain them just right now. So the first thing is an iron golem farm. I've been working on the iron golem farm for a, a quite a while now and I'm almost done with it. Uh, I'm gonna do like one over there and one over there just two just doing a two for now Maybe later on in the future I can do one up there and do one up there and maybe maybe later the later later on in the future I can extend it out towards that way that way we can have like a, a Square shape or a, even like nine or so of the iron gone farms But the way that this works you can see right over there there's villagers in the little two there's enough villagers in there where it's actually a village with a bunch of villagers so it spawns the iron golem the iron golem drops down it goes inside of the lava um patches away let me see if one's going to drop down it says it spawns every six minutes so i guess it's been six minutes but this is the amount of iron and roses or potties that i've acquired from the iron golem farm i got two stacks 19 somewhere right there oh and this one got about five counting this which is maybe maybe like 20 or so or something like that also the ones in there uh these chests will fill up then those chests at the top will fill up so there's nothing in there and i'm currently working on that one right over there what is that oh yeah yeah working on that one right over there for this one i used a boat way so like i would get in a boat over there and drag the villager inside the boat all the way over here break the boat put them up um a water elevator and then he'll go up the elevator and go inside the thing but right now i'm doing a complete water elevator so i'm right there i push them in they follow the water elevator all the way across and drop down into the little circuit which is less work for me but the thing is to make this it took a lot more work than just making a boat and traveling across a little far area so that's one thing that's been going on and the s p so far so let me come over here uh for some reason all of our villagers died i disabled the villager breeder while trampling all of the crops i guess there wasn't enough light in there and a zombie spawned killed all the villagers and the zombies despawned after that because when i came in here there's only one villager left which was weird so i started the breeding area once more and we need to fill that up over there a lot more so we're gonna be breeding a bunch of villagers and once they're all bred and a bunch of villagers are in there i'm saving these two villagers because they have some they have some decent trades on them not that two i think this guy's all like something two yeah power two protection two and then gives us some name tags we're gonna need those name tags in the future this one gets fire aspect two but it also gives respir respiration three which is good and punch one which is not really good but we're going to be keeping those two and our previous villagers with mending frost walker and the saddles are now gone i guess when we hit them i guess uh zombies spawn again and killed them both or all three of them kill all three of them off and that's that also i've been working on this passageway here and i don't i don't necessarily like it but i'm too lazy to destroy it so i'm just gonna keep it and the reason why i don't like it is because it blocks the view of the iron on farm and it doesn't look particularly nice looking from um from down below it doesn't look nice looking at all i actually haven't looked at this like this <laughs> this actually looks pretty pretty freaking dope it looks nice i like it a little bit a little bit but this is our official tree farming area where we plant all of our trees they grow up about one one tree gives you about a stack of wood so this is about five six stacks of complete wood there but we don't really need wood at the moment so we're just gonna let them sit there and look pretty for now eventually the reason why we're in that there but eventually we're gonna make a villager farm inside of the nether a vi infinite villager breather breather I say breather breeder inside of the nether because at the um at the base it creates a lot of lag when there's a bunch of villagers in there and i don't have time to deal with that so we're probably just gonna make it inside of the nether but the reason why we're in the nether is because I found a skeleton spawner actually, and I made a skeleton uh, XP farm, which we'll go to right now. So this is the skeleton XP farm, and I just realized that I wasn't 100% completely done with it. I'm missing one, one chest. I think it's a regular chest of prey. Oh, it's not a regular chest, it's a trap chest. But uh, I guess we could keep it like that since we don't have any iron on us or anything like that, and we need some light in here as well. 
so yeah this is our skeleton xp farm bang this is our skeleton xp farm uh, there's a skeleton spawner right below there and the skeletons travel up some ladders they go up and they fall straight down onto this platform here uh, you can see skeletons rattling right right here you can see it so they're about to fall down in a little bit I'm just gonna place some more of this glowstone down I don't know where to place it as you see skeletons drop down uh, let's place this glowstone we could place one behind here I guess I guess that would look nice or like across across the way all the way across that looks decent that doesn't look bad it looks all right I would say myself uh, right there and where was it right here now we got one more left over yeah we got one more left over we could put it uh let's just put it right in the dead center right here there we go there we go and we're out of food of course so yeah they drop down there at half a heart or one heart or something like that the regular ones are the one with um the one with armor isn't so if i dang it you can see him so if i punch him not him him about one two times he'll die but what I like to do is use my looting three sword, swing away, kill, 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 get the loot, put it inside the chest accordingly. I haven't been down here that much, not that much. This is my second time being down here, actually. I haven't even AVK'd here. So the reason why I have it is because we have a cave spider spawner, which gives you a lot more XP than this after a period of time. So the only reason why we would use this is for bones, arrows, I have infinity, so I don't need arrows. And the gear they drop is boo-boo. So the only reason why we would use this for the chain chest plate because you you can't get chain chest plates in uh, survival. And let me just wing away at this. And next stop is spawn. So let's go. <clears throat> so at spawn, there's been a lot of shops going on. We got the base of shops that we've seen before. This one, another shop. Uh, this is now a dye shop instead of a farmer's market. I don't. It doesn't look like. What is it? Yellow dye. One gold per stack. Also, the currency has been changed from gold only, not uh, diamonds anymore. Not gold and diamonds, just gold only for some reason. I don't know why. I liked it with diamonds because I you know, get diamonds and I have to go searching with gold and crap. So, uh, what is this? 64 stake for three golden blocks. 32 letter for two golden blocks. That's stake. Oop. Gotta get rid of... That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. You fell off already, so you falling off was not... Why are they all, where are they all coming from? They all just, what the heck? Oh my God, oh my God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. There we go. One more. I'm glad that wasn't creepers, but yeah. So we're, we're definitely gonna buy this. We're, we're definitely gonna come back with some gold. We need some gold. We got some gold. We need more gold. All right. What's this? The wood shop. I think a creeper blew up here. That's why it looks like that. But I don't think he has any wood at the moment. Oh, I don't know if you can buy that though. That just looks like he just put random stuff in it. Yeah. I don't think you can buy anything from there right now. We got the wool shop that we need to work on because nobody's been buying any wool. And we also, let me see right here. This is the only wood that we've been selling and nobody's been buying any wool. So we're going to have to work on the wool shop a lot more. Uh, you know give people wool and stuff so they can buy it of course and then right here we got the old uh, truck doesn't look like she has anything for sale at the moment right here we got rags farmers market so we can buy some weed some carrots and potatoes dang he's been making banks 45 gold pumpkins beetroot sugarcane right around the corner here we have our frost walker shop uh, frost walker 2 for 25 diamonds slash golden blocks and we got 15 diamonds for fox walker one throw the payments at the snowman i didn't build this actually um what's his name built it so i think for the payments we can just i don't know how he said it or where we can get to the payments this is weird i think we just there we go it looks like we don't have any payments or he just got the payments maybe because i remember there was a 100 book in there he might have took the book out or just gave the payments or something like that i don't know what's that over here that was like a tree, just not rendering or anything like that. I need, see, this is why we need to buy some food. Melons are horrible for food. Over here, we don't, it doesn't look like we have anything over here, actually. It just looks like somebody's been making a path a lot more. Dirt, some uh, grass blocks. And we got the mini game section right over here. And uh, I think Jonah, Jonah's his name, Jonah built a mini games area. 
not the mini games area. He actually built the mini game. That mini game right there of the Danger of Doom. And I am definitely, definitely not going on that. It looks like you go up it. What is this? Leap of faith. The leap of faith. I'm not going in a leap of faith. How are you? What? Are, these all look like water, but none of them are actually water. I guess the center one is water or something. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. I guess someone took out the center block, which is supposed to be water. What is this? Iron sword and all that crap. So you go up here. I am not. I think you go up there and you just leap down. But it's fake because there's no water and you're gonna take fall damage to see where it goes. So I guess a creeper blew up there as well. What's here? Icebreaker plot. Breaker. Icebreaker. Hmm. I guess that's the new game as well. One thing I did forget to mention is our horse shot. <laughs> it had to be destroyed and it moved because it was in the way of the path, which really sucks. And I'm planning on making another one, but not right now.